What up, party people? This is the North End, a Premier League fan channel. We're back, baby. We're here to talk about the Premier League because, uh, yeah, despite the fact that it's been fuck a minute in the yeah, middle of the right, season right. without Premier League action, we actually can come back now and talk about stuff that is related to the Premier League. And I, uh, I did not do well with that break, gentlemen. I. I was struggling. It was so hard. Yeah, it was hard. It's hard it's to terrible. get back into the football when it came back too, because you're like, like the North London Derby right after an international break is is sacrilege, man. It was like to try to prepare for it for either team, but also just as a fan, it was just like, oh fucking hell. It was. <laughs> I and, and you I guys agree. Man, having man, had a derby as well, yeah. so same idea. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It was yeah. so hard to like have the one breaks, month away. Like, yeah. Gosh. Like my well, team hadn't played Premier League in one month. I know that's nuts, right? We're and we're in play. season. <laughs> And we're season, like in the right? middle of the season. Yeah. yeah like, and uh, obviously, uh, we all want to respect the queen and for all the things she's done and yada, yada, yada. But why is it messing up with my sports schedule? Yeah. I don't, I never got why they did it. It always made sense to me that like it would have been the queen loves sports. Just do the sports, do the, do the moment of silence, have the sport happen. It's more, you know, anyway, whatever. Yep. That's a long time ago now. That seems like it feels like it was forever ago. It's ago but it seems like it seems like a year ago or some shit. So you know? bad. I just yeah. and then all that gap that was filled by the international break, and then all oh. the conversations were like the international break was such crap. Inter- it, it wasn't oh. even like international was- football conversation. It was all team England conversations. And I, I I hate it. Yeah, and the League of Nations is just so so boring. Yeah, like it's, it, it's pointless. It's England pointless. got relegated, and that would usually tickle me. But I was just like, I don't understand what that even means. This is stupid. It doesn't yeah. mean anything. It's, it's just dumb. a pseudo league that exists for the for the international tournaments to try to make them interesting, and it doesn't oh, work. It doesn't work. I hate it's it. So bad. I hate it. I it's hate it so match. much. No, I, I am definitely happy to be back, even though the the weekend uh, for me was not the best. Um, yeah, same. We'll talk uh, about We'll talk yeah, about it. It's been a difficult. Uh, but before we talk about it, for anybody who's new out there, because uh, we are a fast growing channel, and some of you may have never seen us before, we are a Premier League podcast um, slash YouTube channel where we're a bunch of guys from North America, Britain, Australia, India, a lot of these countries I'm making up, um, get together <laughs> to talk like, about. Oh, yes, Danish. I haven't seen sure. Danish in a long time. Sure. Uh, get together to talk about uh, the English Premier League and the world of football. Uh, we're all fans of different teams, uh, but we try to have rounded, well, well, uh, you know, well informed conversations um, every single week. So if you like what you hear and see, like and subscribe, which is me doing what I'm supposed to do, which is prompting you, the audience, to like oh, and subscribe. Before we get into some stuff, smash that like and subscribe. Yeah, smash it like the kids say. Oh, smash it. The kids smash say. it. Yeah, By the way, yeah. I I don't know if this is qualified, but yeah, there's a lot of middle aged men on this show. So I don't know. <laughs> um, if see, if a see, lot of you millennials, right God, man, middle aged, see this guy lying on the am couch. I really middle aged. Like, yeah. Am I middle aged yeah. now? Bad back, yeah. middle aged. If you're at home, wherever your home is, watching at the the young tender age of the twenties, just look at the tops. Let's look at this guy right here. This is what this you will right become here. inevitably. This guy. <laughs> yeah. Right here, it was an overnight I thing. Wish I, you luck. I wish you I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't though. We, 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 oh, we come on. We we, we all hope that you age as badly as we did. Is what we say. All the kids. faster. Yeah, I got this. Paul's got none of this, so you know we I got none of this. I wear hat all the time. <laughs> I can't I got see more here. JP's right. blind and American. Why is going blind? blind probably, right? <laughs> and my hangovers are so bad these days. Oh, you don't even know, buddy. You wow. don't oh, I don't. I don't want to know. Look at that mighty Villa, seventeenth on the form guide. That's just just great. Before we're looking at yeah. here, this is standard at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I like how the the guy oh. just said, "Yeah, I'm losing my eyesight. It has to do this." And look at that. <laughs> <laughs> It's so small. I can't read any of it. It is very that small. Was great. I do know what the table looks like because I know um, I've looked at it a number of times over the last little while. Stressed yeah. out. Yeah. Well, I mean, is this this you're, is this, you're in it. Is this league you're table in it. Or is this form table? Yeah. In the conversation, certainly. This uh, is the standing table, and it will also give you an indication of uh, the latest form uh, of teams as well. Um, it's. I think it is. Maybe I messed it up. No, it's um, not because Villa's in fourteen. Well, then we'll just call it the form table. Let's look at the form table, everybody. 
Uh, Aston Villa in 14th, even though their form is the 17th, 17th. worst in the that's league. That's about right. Yeah, that's about yeah. yeah that's, that makes sense. It's uh, so there's bad. it's so it's so early days here. Uh, I mean, what is I'll it, check in with everybody. We're a eight little games bit. in. We're a quarter of the way. Like that's it might be early doors, but I feel like this is a good time to reflect on some teams and take a look at them and say, all right, nine and four is. Oh. I think it is, but I also think because of like how everything is so compact before the World Cup, it's it's really a tough one to gauge uh, in, in, in this period of time. Um, I think there's some stories being told here. I think Liverpool's lack what two wins in seven or something like that. Um, you know, not not good. That's a big story there. I think Chelsea, Man United, kind of being still in the conversation, but not firing from the top and sort of trying to catch up is a story. But I think obviously Arsenal, as much as I hate to say it, are the ones that uh, I think have surprised everybody in, in the fact that they're still up up top and uh, and winning games the way uh you didn't, uh, i didn't expect them to I, I do recognize they had probably the easiest start or one of the easiest starts or to the point what you're making that there's still yeah. a lot of football to be played they've got liverpool and city coming up uh in the next little bit and that'll that'll give us a sense i think we're largely going to find out a little bit more about arsenal shortly um i, yeah. I really you're, you're a kicker on as well paul yeah sorry i, I mean, hardly expect man city to just start like pulling away from everybody yeah, I I, yeah. I think the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth finishes are the season races to pay attention to this season. I yeah. don't think the the one and two races anything other than a like a, a conceit to Man City. I like I, I don't want to be the guy who says the season's over, but really I'm. But getting I'm not in that second position is is it's open currently because of Liverpool's uh, second start. position weirdly becomes first place in the only yeah. race that really exists in right now league, the top. in the other league that exists outside of yeah. Man City. Like once you take Man City Cologne. out of it mentally, <laughs> yeah. it's like wow, cool. we really are the Bundesliga now. It's become it's uh, worse, I think actually. I think, you think it's, it's worse. Yeah, I it's think worse. it's worse. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I think it's I think it's worse. I think it's completely ruining what otherwise is one of the best leagues in the world with 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 we, uh, just do you think it's worse because it was the best league in the world and now it's becoming it's like every fixed other league? By by money in, in a state that that have been able to cheat. Um and I just think that is worse than the Bundesliga who have a team that just happens to have more money than the others. It's like it's criminal, you know, and yeah. it's it's unfortunate. Yeah. I, so I I've always kind of been the one who likes to beat the drum of Man City have gotten here by doing some some shady stuff, but yeah, and I, and I, I Paul, I've always hundred uh, percent. But I am also like, but it's fun to I watch. Mean, <laughs> Pep Guardiola is an amazing manager. Yeah, they Kevin De Bruyne is unreal. Always bought the right players. Like they've done so many they, things. They have had starting. a lot of money to do that too. Like, yeah, they made yeah, a lot yeah, of for mistakes sure. that those for mistakes sure. you don't notice because they ended but up buying somebody else who fixed for it. For me, I think it is embarrassing. But for me, it's a different kind of embarrassment. It's just like it's more about oh fuck, all these other teams have never been able to get their shit together to like even start to compete with that level. To have the conversation, yeah. Like I can look across the all the teams and be like, yeah, you were close to like getting your shit together, but you couldn't really sustain it, and that's embarrassing. Like clubs in the top four need to get sustained shit together periods. Yep, to, to, get to put here, man, a, any pressure on Manchester City. Otherwise, we're just waiting for Pep Guardiola to move on. <laughs> and Paul, and, you could like also argue with, you could also argue why Arsenal are in the position they are because they've had that for the last three and a half seasons is having a, a despite whether you think the manager is good or not. Um, they've had stability, and stability breeds, I think, of eventual consistency with results, and that's what Arsenal oh, are getting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I want to, yeah. I want to. I, I, I a better manager. They'd, they'd be in the conversation. A bit of a I completely agree. With the only thing is, like, I am, I am kind of expecting Arsenal to take a drop. Like, I think so. Do that, I? That, don't do Paul. So do I. Kind schedule. Right. Yeah. Yeah, of course, and that comes to Europe and injuries. They don't have the depth in that squad. They're gonna, they're gonna. If once being on playing Thursdays and Sundays and getting a couple of key injuries, that's when they'll start to fall off some. And you'll, you, I think they'll still finish top four. Yeah, you know, like some probably third or fourth. I still think they'll finish below Spurs, and I think that's uh, due to Spurs being right there without even playing well yet. So, it, um, but yeah, that's a that's a different conversation yet. Yeah, keywords. Maybe they won't, Paul. It's a possibility. Which is, which I do helpful. think they will. I do think we will, based on what we saw at the end of last season. There's capability there um, that is just not uh, not being re, uh, realized yet, as far as what's where Spurs are at. Yeah, it's it's just it's fuck. It's an interesting season, but yeah. it's a little bit of a grind to get into it. Uh, and the and the, again, the break didn't help, but uh, this predictability of Manchester City and like. 
the the lack of a real talent like title challenger like arsenal yeah. are in it but like i think we're both collectively agreed like oh for sure they're, they're in it because, because and, and if liverpool had started liverpool started this way and they're not going to catch up another 14 points like they did last season it, yeah they're just not good enough at this point and maybe maybe that could change i hope it does but uh, i don't know where they're at liverpool or in uh you know 12th or something like that i think or 11th yeah 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 and it's a lot uh, of points I, behind the top spot so it's yeah, yeah. I don't want to be the smug Man United fan, but um, it, it, yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. It, they always felt like a team that was a good team, but wasn't like at that that level yet, where it wasn't like uh, a, you can bring in replacement parts pretty easily because the squad is so rich, and it felt like a good team that was trying to compete with this monster Manchester City squad, and I just think it's like a race. Like you just, you, you can maybe beat them in a sprint, but you can't beat them on a marathon. And well, you might actually the like the, the sprint was that, that two or three seasons where they, yeah, yeah, they yeah. did manage to get, win a champions again, managed to win a title, but you can't keep sprinting forever. Sprints are short. And I think they've hit the end of that road to, you yeah. know, to use your analogy. I think it's a good analogy because they had to go hard, but they, they've kind of come to the end of that bit and uh, they're going to be in a scenario now, which is what we're seeing. And it's a transition scenario. They have a good enough manager to make a change, uh, um, but that will also take time as getting to this point in the first place took a lot yeah. of time. So it's a, it's going to be another two, three seasons if Klopp's still there to kind of do it again, you know? Well, we'll see. We'll if see. Uh, so I'm going to draw attention to uh, position number 18 in the old form chart. Form form chart. <laughs> form chart. Uh, because it's Wolves and Wolves have just fired their manager. Yeah, this is nuts, right? I mean, kind of nuts, it? but I, I kind of get it as well. They haven't been playing very well for no. some time, right? Like it hasn't no. just been this season. And they ended the season very poorly. For they like, ended well, on like a seven or two eight months. They were really winless shit. streak. Yeah, um, and and his football is kind of I don't know for me not not great. Um, he started well and he had a good few first few months, but they they dwindled pretty quick when uh, it's kind of wild. Things to got me. bad. They got really bad. Um, here's what's wild to me. Like I I've watched a lot of wolves. I used to like the way they play quite a bit. I don't anymore, but I do like Ruben Neves quite a bit. So I still There's some good players them. on that side still for sure. They've, got some, they've got some good players, they do, um, yeah. but like they should be a comfortable mid table team. They play well enough week in and week out to deserve on that third though, mid table. Not scoring enough. Yeah. They're not scoring. They're, not they're conceding scoring kind of enough. weird goals. I, I I don't quite know what it is. I think probably a manager change is what makes sense. Seems Last like game I saw them play, Ruben Neves was playing in uh, center defense at a back three. Yeah, I saw that uh, as well. That was it's almost like they need a center back who would be great in back three. Oh wait, Connor Cody. Though. Connor Cody. Yeah, exactly. I was just gonna say that, right? They, right. They like, what, what did Connor Cody know game. about that position where he like ha- had to leave to go to fucking Everton? Like, and then play in a back four. It, it, tell, well. it tells you everything about where the club's at in that scenario, right? They they yeah. probably put a ton into doing something. They did those things for a period of time. They got into Europe for a season, and they were they were progressing, and then to go to that next level, it's just that much harder to do it. And you got to have the right players in place. You got to get lucky with lack of injuries. I think which Liverpool has done, had done a couple of seasons. It's a, it's a difficult process. And I think they're, they're kind of also having to start over a little bit with. Yeah. But it's it, kicking it's things kind off. of, kind of a funny thing. Cause like, I think we're just at that stage of the season now where enough rope has been given to managers that they've had enough to hang themselves. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like, this is probably the first of I would expect maybe two or three more firings over the next Steve month Cooper, of October. Man. Steve Cooper is a tough one uh, at, at, at Forest. I mean, you bring in twenty six new players and then you fire this, you sack the manager. I mean, that's, oh, fuck. that's crazy. Like that's not, that happens, yeah. man. It's such a shame, really, because he's a wonderful, wonderful manager. Where he where he took them from to where they be, yeah. where they are now is impressive as hell. For him, if they brought in twenty six new players, which is the actual number. 26 new players and you sack the manager. I put my finger on it before we started the season when we did our predictions. I think we all did. I said it was too many guys. Yeah, we all said. How do you how do you gel a team in that? You guys said, oh, they're buying well, they're buying their way to stay up, and I was like, no, no, too many guys. I also said it's going to be very difficult them to get cohesion with that big of a squad with a bunch of new players. We'll see what happens. It'll be and JP just just to be clear because it's uh it's in my benefit to agree with uh, Brian two against one. You're wrong. Okay, so sure. No, hey, this is Re- a nice round number. History is fine. 
Yeah, no, yeah, no. I, 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 I go back and watch it, but I, I'm, I'm 100 positive that was my position. I recognize that they were. It was impressive some of the players they were bringing in. I, I know I said that, and, and some of those of players would add to a squad. Yeah. But that was, I think, at the time when we had that conversation, they had brought in about eight or nine. Twenty six is where oh, they I think they're at like fourteen when we did it. I well, they were a lot. But still, that's another 12. 26 players. is on. <laughs> you can't even register 26. Yeah. What's the point of bringing in 26 guys? You all. can't I mean, register I think maybe them. some of them went back on loan. I don't know the numbers on it specifically, but to, to bring in a, all that many players and then sack the manager that got you there in the first place is really odd. It's a bad. Yeah. Do, do we think he is the most likely to get sacked, or do we think Frank Lampard's going to be uh, sacked next? Oh, I, I think, think Lampard's going to last as long as he's I, not yeah. in that relegation. Actually, zone. full Everton's form is is it's they're not playing terribly, and they're getting this odd result. Here it's improved. So they've they've yeah, drawn a lot of games, right? Like a couple yeah. teams like that. But yeah, where nine and four is just they'll be fine. Are, I think there's other managers okay. that are going to go first before. Right. Uh, God, before. I hope so. Steven Gerrard. I hope so Steven Gerrard, <laughs> please go, please go. I don't think Gerrard's going to go either. I think those oh, two, I will, think those two will get. Are we there though? Thirteenth, fourteenth. I'm there. Are we yeah. there? Like that's what the Aston Villa fans are like. We're we're done. We're the, done. The, the, we're out. the stadium fans are pretty close to turning. The internet fans have turned. The stadium fans are they the next ones. Go, they? Yeah. No, I, um, the internet fans. I know the Twitter fans. Twitter fans. Um, For them. He uh I think he like literally has four games. <laughs> I think he's gone before the World Cup break. Oh, oh really? You think so? I don't think he's yeah. gonna go. I don't think they're gonna sack him. To manage England? Who do you bring in? Who does Stevie? Who's who does who comes in that's better than the Jordan? owners have had three meetings with Pochettino? Really? Ooh, that's a show. Yes. I mean, that's a good show. I could see him at Villa. It's and his, and Villa has a good, good Villa, nice good project Villa. there built with a, a decent team. It's just we honestly look like we did at this time last year when we fired Dean Smith. So where's the progress? Yeah, yeah. I would be nervous if you guys brought in Pochettino because I think the squad you have with him at the helm. It's there, so. it's it's a different scenario because he I think with the players like the types of players you guys have it, it's similar to probably where Spurs were a bunch of players with quality but not playing as a team and he's really that's just it we that. don't have an identity putting a and system after, together and saying, here's how you fuckers are going to play go out and do it and work after really you've been there for ten months you should have an identity it's, you get two yeah. weeks a two week three week break and we still don't even long. look like identity right. and I'm yeah. like ah. interesting right. to see well this was about um, EVG about, you're next. Yeah, yeah, this was about... That's uh, how it goes. It, it, that's manager. all this is, is like, really, manager seasons... Get is, is like in the, the morning. It's like, it's <laughs> fall, guys. It's fall. Apples yeah. are falling from trees. Leaves are falling from trees. Managers are getting wine. sacked. It's, managers it's, are falling from clubs. <laughs> it's fine. I'm drinking wine. And, and we, think, nice. we think Stevie G is happening next, I'll which is fine. Back. Um, so this next question is a... It's not a question, really, but it's just more like, I feel like... Conversation. I, there's just this weird thing where maybe it's not being talked about enough because it's already talked about so much in a different way but like can we just pause and just say is this is this kid making history are we watching history of are we watching we are, yeah. history i mean it's it's absurd the thing about this is we already had this conversation before is that the history is being made he is clearly the best player in this position he's the most pure number nine we've seen in I don't know how long, maybe ever. Fastest to just with pure number nine. Like he does everything in the space of the, the width between the two posts of the goal. He doesn't move outside of either one of those and he scores for fun. And as you get him in the ball in those positions, it's going to put him in the back of the net. 172 goals at age 22 in uh, in professional Unreal. football. 50, 50 goals for Messi, 49 or 48 for Ronaldo in that same period of time up until they were 22. 172. Which which I, I, I just want to point this out. People, people don't get don't get this quite right. Ronaldo not scoring that much at that age is a testament to where Ronaldo's career went because he had a famously slow start. Sure, sure. When, sure. when, he, when he hit a certain level, when he hit a certain age, yeah, he yeah. was like, whoa. And, you know, I'm, just getting, I'm, just basing, I'm just basing it on like how we hey, measure I, the, I get the it, best I get in it. the world. Right? I just like throwing that out because they, they make that comparison sure. where it's like, well, Ronaldo was always very slow. So why are we picking like, why is yeah, but where but those are the two go, best players we've seen in, in a, in a, in an age, but even, of, of football, right? even like, as even we like talk Michael about Owen, this season, smashing them up right. completely this season, right now, like three where we are at right now, 14 goals, three hat tricks. If this was baseball, there would be a home run watch. There would be, a check in every game of like where is he now? Can he break the record? Where is he now? Can or he break the what record? Fucking drugs is he on? <laughs> like, yeah, what drugs is he on? 
But it, it does seem like he's it's gotta he's, be on something for this shit. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't want to say it's like nobody's noticing because we're all noticing, obviously. But oh, like, it just feels like knows. I think there should start to be like this weird like game within the game of can he hit fifty and like we should all be spending a, like time to that. Well, we could we could start that on. Our, I think that's uh, a fair shout. We I could mean, do a segment a the whole on, the Holland moment and like where's that, he at? That should be a bet of Vegas. Can he hit forty? Like, uh, can what would twenty dollars get you? A three minute video, <laughs> turns, dude. If Kevin De Bruyne can stay healthy all season, he can hit sixty. Yeah, because the amount of goals him. this kid scores that are like. Not to discredit him or to take anything off of what he does, but our goals that Kevin De Bruyne are giving him, yeah, here is just like Please. take this. Here's, the, here's the tastiest, and... tastiest setup you're ever gonna it get. It was almost like they're bored on a regular basis. Yeah, there's Again, a weird this, like this, this is synergy. part of the, this is part of the thing that annoys me about it because it's obviously the best possible players are going to go to that club and best manager and all that other stuff and the 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 fact that it's all been pretty dodgy but it's so fun to watch this incredible player do these things which yeah. we wouldn't see if he wasn't playing with De Bruyne and I agree um that's probably the difference of he probably would have half the goals he'd probably have seven maybe eight yeah. which we'd still be impressed by if he wasn't being fed by arguably the best midfielder yeah. that's ever I, played I, the Premier League so you got the three, first two one players that are just levels I'm the, I was the first one to say they got this kid for 60 million which is so yeah. fucking low Dirt cheap. but they yeah. they made him the highest paid player on the team ahead of KDB and I was no, like no I heard it's the same that's gonna be a problem or, or like within degrees of the same but I was yeah. gonna be like this kid what has he done to get that kind of contract um, <laughs> it's just Man City know what they're doing they're like no yeah, man, they're like, the best watch, recruiters watch what happens they, here. They, they always get uh, almost always they've been doing it for several years now where they get players and they integrate them well yeah and he didn't need to be integrated he just fit in like the yeah last I thought he did I was, that was I, I reckon I recognize my complete folly in thinking that this guy wasn't going to score that, goals the way you I guys were both it. questioning if he would fit into the Pep Guardiola system nope. I literally I was like, said no, that I admit it I admit it yeah, yeah. Yeah. wrong yeah, I'm, nope. I'm nope. agreeing with you that that, that you did it. I, I was like, I, thanks for reminding me. Besides, that, I did not. If, if, I did not question his fit to the system. Anybody. I just, I, just, I, I, I thought he'd be anybody. Good. When you go from a system where you're playing with, you're not, you're playing a false nine for like two seasons, and you win the league, to go to switching to an actual nine, a proper nine, the system changes completely. But they've adjusted to it so quickly, and yes. and he is just being fed balls. Like in, in the best possible scenarios, he's going to get him into finish. Where even, even when he doesn't, he still finds his, finds a way to a get his foot. I am player. going to correct JP by but, saying I did not think it was a system thing. No, I I called his season being hit by injuries because I thought he was injury prone based on what happened last season. I might still be right or wrong, but fuck. I mean, who's gonna like, who's gonna be the one? To he's go still gonna have thirty him, goals. It's gonna be crazy. Him. Somebody's like, gotta go in and hack him down to stop. Which oh, player? Is Premier League? That's it's gotta be it. Ben Me, dude. You can see how Ben like, Me, dude. He like, does terrible Romero, tackles. Romero there there isn't a single center back in the league right now where I'm like, oh, you wait until you make. Like, there's nobody I think nobody. is even bigger he than this guy. Bully, he would bully every center half. For sure. Like I was happy. Like, he only Rudiger's the only guy. Rudiger last year at Chelsea is the only guy I would be like, this guy might have a chance. Maybe against this Saliba team. size wise at Arsenal because he's size, he's tall, he's like he might have some strength, but I he's still think mean. he's get bullied. You know, he's I, not mean. No, I know that's, that's probably, I'm just. It would be I'm so funny to see defending Silva the versus guy in some way because it's going to be impossible. <laughs> yeah. He's so he's ridiculous. He's nuts. It is nuts. He's, um, he's, so he's yeah, so I mean, fast. Erling Holland, uh, scary, scary talent. I think there should be some kind definitely of definitely watching history, but Paul, there's some watching history unfold. Acknowledgement. Sure. Um, I I am only going to throw out the one thing I think is a saving grace for the Premier League and anybody who feels like we need to start competing down the road. I think his stay at Manchester City will be two to three years tops. I think this kid is Real Madrid bound for sure. I think he's on a planned stepping stone plan where it's every place he's going is a place where he knows he can get out of. And that the end destination is Real Madrid completely destined to be a Real Madrid player. But I think he's yeah. going to be Premier League the two to three seasons. million dollar a week player. Yeah, I yeah. could see it, Paul. I, 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 there's part of me that agrees with you. And there's a part of me that thinks because of Man City's dominance, if they go on and win the, the, the championship exactly. this season with him, then that three years might turn into five. Yeah. I do agree that he will eventually move on, but I do think the more trophies and wins at City 
um, and the more sort of honors he gets there. I recognize it's still City. It's not Real Madrid. I know that, but I think it could keep him there. Like he could extend the contract a little bit longer because of the trophies that are coming in. Yeah, but he yeah, also maybe. might get bored too. He might he might go, yeah, you know what? I've done it already. I'm out. Like that could happen too. I, I, so I think it's going to be a, I'm 25, I'm 26 now. Now is yeah. the Real Madrid move. I actually think, like if you look back at his career, everything has been so calculated between him yeah, and, has, it's very and true, his yeah. dad and him. And the way he talks about there's Real a plan well. there for sure. He's not like yeah. go to city and stay there forever, you yeah. know, but, but I do think a contract, if the results are right, could extend, be extended longer than you might think. If oh, he, if God. he went to city and maybe won <laughs> one trophy or two, <laughs> yeah, he, to go and do it, he might be like, yeah, whatever. But I think there's a chance he could stay longer. I hope not. I mean, get the fuck out of the, you know, the Premier League. as much as I love watching you, man. Can we, uh, <laughs> can we just say like, it's already, the they've already season, got too much of an advantage for God's If sake. Man City is is healthy and and rearing and just smashing, at the end of the season, Man City, Real Madrid, Champions League final. It'd be tasty. Ooh, that would be tasty. good. I think City right. win that with with Holland comfortably. Oh, yeah. I don't actually think Real Madrid would be there. I don't think they'll get to the final. Really? Either. No. What are they like? Four champions in five years? Yeah, with Casemiro. Yeah, that doesn't, there's a few players they don't have anymore that you know that are aging as well. You got a Modric that's aging. That you is got, true. You got a ben- Benzema that as good as he was last season is not probably that's his best season in his career. Get I, also I would 30, take the other side at, of thirty. So at any stage, I would take Bayern Munich versus Manchester City. I think that's that's ooh, a better I, that's a better game. I think that's, that's the game. the two best teams on the planet right now. Yeah, if they meet in the final, ideal. But any any. Oh. I almost want it to be a home and away (laughs) series, like two games for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Awesome. Awesome. No, no, uh, no home goal advantage. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Um, no, no, So this came up during the break, and we might as well talk about it because it's a little bit of a weird narrative. Um, A lot of, a lot of, a lot of, not just talk about Harry Maguire, Trent Alexander Arnold. like negative talk, that kind of stuff that happens in the world. But people are now talking about the negative talk as a subject, like meaning people are saying, are 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 these guys being attacked? Is this the appropriate way to, to, to talk about? Is these? this appropriate? Are we yeah. really doing the right thing? Like the talk has been so severe that now the actual conversation is, is this too much? Are we? Is Have we gone too far? It's the woke, the wokeness in football. Is that what we're talking about now? We're getting woke. Yeah, I, I don't. Well, I don't. I, I just think maybe just at a certain <laughs> point where like Harry Maguire got vehemently attacked, and he doesn't play for Man United, and he was selected for England. So at least there was a little bit of a, a reason behind why is he there and somebody else isn't there if he's not playing. Yeah. And then Trent Alexander Arnold wasn't even selected for England, and he was attacked because everybody was talking about why he shouldn't be part of England setup because of X, Y, and Z. And I'm just like the English man; they're fucked. Like that's yeah. my takeaway: is like you're fucked, it's, Paul. It's English, the English media, it's the English media, and then it's also English social media because so yes. the social media is obviously the extension of regular media. The, their media is already so fucking absurd that when you add the social side of it to everybody can comment, it just gets so blow. It's I can't even go on Twitter, man. Like I, I like I'll, I'm on Twitter like two 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 days before a game or when there's like when people aren't volatile, like that's the only time I'm going on Twitter. Otherwise I'm like, right. fuck this, man. It's just right. It's Again, amazing. follow us on Twitter, everybody. We want to just Twitter, remind you all you. The, uh, the North end. Is Elon on Musk. Twitter. Please give us a call. <laughs> go on, Elon. <laughs> it's, this... but yeah, it's, it's a weird one, man. It's a weird one. It's just, it's, they bring up these stories. They make these weird stories and they tell them in a way that they like drag players into the, the mud, drag them into the mud completely and yeah. just like tear them apart. My, um, fa- my favorite it's like, is these, uh... are these are players that are like your your captain, yeah. you're one of the best players who's played in England. In a, he's what twenty two in, in in Trent Alexander Arnold. You're you're slagging him. You're dragging him into the mud. Yeah, totally. like where's the support for your team? Like Harry you Harry Aguirre brought uh, liver or England, I think, to a like a, a semi final and a quarter final. He, he was involved like... in that. Yeah. To be yeah. fair, he shouldn't have been playing for England. He shouldn't have been. But there's no reason to still drag him through the mud the way they did. It could have just been an easy decision made by the coach saying your form isn't good enough currently and you're not playing for your your home club. We understand that that's difficult for you, but we have to make a different decision. There's another player that we think is going to fit for this session. Show what you got when like what you normally do in a scenario when a player isn't playing very well. He needs to play well to in order to earn his position. Right. But the mud, the the harshness, the just dragging these players through it, just despite 
their scenario and the fact that they are human. It's just very right. strange to me. It's over the top. I don't get it. And I, I always feel like there's something to like the self-fulfilling prophecy as well. We're like, everybody's shitting on Harry Maguire. So of course he's going to have a bit a mistake in him. Like, of course he's yeah. going to have a bad game. Well, it weighs on you, man. Like you're human. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. You're being, everything's being put on your shoulders. One you're mistake will just get you. Shit the entire time. Yeah. You're like, you're going to start I, to believe it. Right. Like that's, I happens. often wonder though, and this is maybe, I'll just, I'll just throw it out there. Like, it's always English players. Like we only oh, yeah. hear about this English players, but is that because we don't understand Spanish or Portuguese? Like we don't know what people are saying about these other players. No, in these other countries? no. Like, do you Luke think the Argentina national? And I'll give you an example. Lionel Messi in Argentina sometimes gets attacked and has oh, yeah. throughout his entire career at a, a national level. Right. But we yeah. don't hear it because we don't, we don't, it's not in our sphere. It's not in our, media. We, we it's not in our, it's not in our algorithm. We don't speak the language. We're not seeing those headlines. But we always, the see the Eng- we, we always see the English shit because it's on but all the stuff we, we watch. watch the Premier League. But so, I feel like know. English fans be- honestly have this conception that they should be having more World Cup wins. They should. They though. should. If he, they've won, but they've that's won not. But hold on, hold on. But, <laughs> they, <laughs> but they have this infatuation with the World Cup win. And then you add it with this like – every new next guy is the guy and then it just crash and burns oh, like it's sure. on the I next shiny that. thing yeah. prop him up, like and prop him up and then knock him down as soon as you get him up where there. i feel like argentina realized mm-hmm. they had one of the best players in the world for several years and they just wanted him to achieve something with their country but they were harsh and now they're too. like they i don't think too. if he doesn't win a world cup like it makes him less of a superstar like he still will he'll be still argentina. never be maradona unless he does it <laughs> oh yeah no it's true 100 percent. that's their, that's their position you talk i to think any argentinians that's yeah their position. yeah because he's god maradona's god um yeah but i also think that at a certain World Cup point, i think at a certain point he won them over by like he retired for a minute he, like he no i'm not talking about maradona i mean like messy <laughs> i think my messy example is more like messy earlier messy. in his career yeah, yeah. Um, the one thing i'm going to end with is uh, and again, it has to go to the, the narrative. Of, it's not. It's not necessarily just people picking on these guys. It's the narrative of now. The story is: is it too harsh to pick on these guys? And that's where I hear a lot of things like nobody's ever had it this bad before. Right. Blah blah blah. And I just want to like, if you were one of those people out there who thinks that's true, <laughs> you have any sense of that? Like David Beckham. guys like David Beckham would show up to stadiums, and there would be dolls of him with his hair and his jersey outside the stadium on fire. Because yeah, he, he got, got a he red got, card. He got lynched. He got lynched. He got lynched. All via voodoo yeah. doll. Number for an kid. entire season, every That's game so he cool. went to as a Man United player, a hated Man United player, and now a hated, I think he was maybe the captain of England when he did that. He like, was, yeah. There, there have been way, way worse, worse times. And it's not to say it's right or wrong. It's just more of a, uh. It's I mean, different. If Harry Maguire wants to avoid all this shit, he could put his phone away and not look at Twitter. That's an easy thing to do. Yeah, Nobody's yeah. showing up to the stadiums to burn effigies of him. Yeah. 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 There have not been yet. worse not times yet, in not history. Yet. <laughs> not and, yet. and let's let's be also honest. Like Harry Maguire and Trent haven't had good form. Like they're they're not yeah, in they're great playing form, very well currently. But, but like accept the, that. and criticism right. is acceptable, but like saying, like, oh my god, these guys should never be in the England squad. Let me pay for their flight to go fly off to China and play in a China league. Like Come on, get it together, what you, what man. You have to, th- this is the thing, though, where I think Southgate, and again, I don't want to talk about England too much, but but I think when it comes to what has gone wrong in this scenario, and I don't know how much you can blame Maguire or Alexander Arnold in this scenario. I think the manager, uh, although actually he didn't play Arnold because he 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 had a, he had a better yeah. player to play in that position, yeah. Yeah. and he played him in that's he should have been doing that with Maguire. Despite Maguire's position, there's pl- players whose form was better. When he first came in for to to manage England, he said, "I'll pick players based on form," and 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 he was and very he adamant about that. And now he has favorites, so he's kind Literally. of failed in in that as a manager. Every and England, and I think that's where people that. are frustrated. Is like we all see that Maguire currently isn't in form. We don't want to slag him as much as everybody you know expects us but to. You but you keep playing him, anyways. and he keeps fucking up. We're going to keep slagging him. Bring somebody yeah. in who's better, right? And, I, and I'm not but, saying that's appropriate or good. I'm just saying that's hi- hypothetical. What at. Hypothetical, yeah. right? You guys are a manager. You have a style of play that you want to play with. You've been operating for about two years. You've got your guys you've worked with who know the style of play. Would you at some point always be picking on form, or would you have a natural tendency to be? I know what they're bringing. I know what they can do. 
form is one thing, but I know, like, I've always thought the notion that picking solely on form was always like, well, then. so, so, so I think there's, I think there's two things to that. I think I would consider both scenarios. The form would definitely matter, but I wouldn't pick only on it. I would look at the player and the reliability that they've given me in the past, but then I would look at the, about the reliability they've been having for their club recently mm -hmm. and how yeah. that, that scenario they're in is going to translate to how they're going to play for me in a, in an international scenario. So I, w I would look at both and ask the question to determine like, is he in a place right now where this is good for him? Like mm -hmm. for him to be thrown under the bus when he comes in and he's not in good form and the whole country is looking at him, they're cutting him down. Is that good for yeah. him? Well, let's think about what's also good for the squad when it comes to belief in, in, in the winning mentality. And if a player is struggling with their confidence, who's very important to the team and you plop him in the middle of that center of defense, that changes the confidence of the team. Mm -hmm. So do I want to put that in my team? So I would probably think about, Who's the it's best complicated player? though, right? Like, it I is, mean, it is complicated. It's not as simple yeah. as like form. And I agree with that. Yeah. But, and that's kind of my point. I'm like, I would look at a bunch of different scenarios and, and sort of uh, attributes about what's going on to make a decision. And I would be really honest with him and say, listen, you're just not up to snuff at the moment. It doesn't mean I don't trust you. It's just, I don't, you need to, you need to step your game up and we know you will because you're really good at your job. It's just currently you're struggling with it, um, which is, I think the appropriate way to do things. Uh, and I think that, I don't think the Southgate's done that. I think that's, that's, been the flaw of where what we're seeing in England with these players who are doing that is the managers at fault to some extent. Um, obviously the players, their form is is part of that as well. But we have to look at sort of all of those attributes to determine why why are they in that scenario. JP California. Well, I do coach soccer, soccer, football, quite a bit. football, and I think recent form is more important than than guys who did it for you last season, and. I agree that it's more it, it important. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like, I get that you got guys, and, and you can still trust them, and you can still trust them to do a job. But that's not, a, that's not, not an accurate analogy, not, though. If they're not playing well, they're, they're not playing well. You have to take them out of the firing line. you got to get somebody but in there. You were you are talking about – so here's the, th the nuance. International teams are not seasons. International teams are – they're – agnostic to the seasons because they don't train right. together year round. They train together periodically. He, he gets them once a month, up, but I don't think he should like, have been playing. Th think of the training sessions that an international manager has with these group of like players. Typically it's once or twice a month. I really like, and they're relying on their manager every other at month the club no. at the club that they're at. Like if, you're, if you were managing yeah, a club team, yes, form, 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 all that stuff in a high school level. Yes, for sure. Yeah. For sure. But this is more like the amount of time to get somebody up to speed with how you want them to play. You, and you could be forgiven to pick a guy who you just know, well, he knows the system. He knows the system a hundred percent. And I would still pick him to go to England. That doesn't mean I would start him. Or, or necessarily play him in this past right. international break where he likely considering the right. scenario he was in, give him a break, tell him, Hey, we still want you at the world cup, but we, we recognize the scenario and totally. take a minute, get, get yourself back, bring yourself back into form, play totally. yourself into form, get yourself back into the manager's conversation. And yep. you know, then, you know, the, right. it's going to be easier. Yeah. For both us of those, you. both right. of those to me are like, I, I think more seasonal. going back to the yeah. point of it though, I don't know that it's been like really legitimately that harsh on either of these players. No, oh, I, I don't think so either. I don't think so I know either. like the Twitter verse has been mean, but the Twitter verse has been harsh, but it's not been Twitter's harsh in respect to other yeah. players. Yeah. Like, uh, I, and I mean, yeah. maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing that people are stepping up and saying, Hey, Hey, we're, we're being a little bit hard on this guy because maybe so. so. like society probably, and even in England, especially maybe more people should have gone forward and said, Whoa, I mean, come on guys. Like that's, Let's tone it down a bit because heck, that's man? probably what that society needs. Anywho, uh, we're going to move on to the news of like maybe the last couple of days. Uh, and Cuckoo for Red Bull, who is a perific little, oh my God, he's a little striker. I don't know why any striker it's, it's, would go he, to Chelsea. It's, 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 this an, uh, um, I know I know exactly where this is going, but is he another, Hol uh, not Holland, is he another Werner? Like, are we looking at a player, playing, a player playing in another country who looks incredible? And as we know, we'd all agree, Werner, we thought would come and in, come into Chelsea and hit the ground running. And he just didn't. Is this, I, is this another scenario? Cause he's a small guy. This kid, like this kid's amazing. Don't get me wrong. He's just not, I don't, I don't does he have a physicality? Can he get past it? Listen, I don't think anybody will know for sure. Uh, so not JP, not happen, JP's yeah. dog, not JP's squeeze toy. God, his squeeze toy. toy is fucking driving me bonkers. What, what will happen here? He's All I know is me. that 
This kid, he's a French international now. He's a very prolific goal scorer. He's got a lot of talent. I like the look of him. I think he's got a lot of places to go. I don't understand why when he doesn't need to, he would sign a pre-contract with Chelsea and basically lock himself up for Chelsea. It could, it could still change because whatever. Right. Uh, sorry, can I med- quickly interrupt He's you had that? a was medical, that, he signed personal. Was that done, was that done pre-management change? Uh, no, it's been done in the past week or two. Yeah. Well, okay, sorry. I, they, they are I, I trying to lock him sure up. If it was, they if are it trying was, uh, to lock him up. Under Potter physical no. negotiations. It's going to be like one of those ones where they may even buy him and say you can Probably finish up the season before with... Potter, though. Would you agree with that? Like it would have started before that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, it would have been. We need somebody more long term than Obama Yang, and he would have been on a list. Right, right. So a younger, you know, maybe yeah. well, just say it, right. Maybe. Obama Yang was brought in for Tuchel. But now Tuchel's gone. I so. do yeah. not understand why this guy would have a lot of suitors, a lot of options. Why he would look at Chelsea historically for what they do for strikers, currently for what they are going through right now. He plays with Timo Werner, who didn't make it at Chelsea yeah. who I know probably comes in and be like, yeah, I love that club. The fans are great or whatever, whatever, but probably is also like, yeah, I just couldn't score goals on the premier. Do you like, think his wouldn't... ego though is like, I go there and score goals. Fuck this. Maybe guy. Oh, for sure. Know. Maybe. Or if it's I mean, just like con- the strikers first paycheck are like that, that came. Right? Strikers are like, that. <laughs> Maybe, but, but at like... the same time, Red Bulls probably want to cash in on him because what is it? Like 60, 65 mil. That's quite a big lump of sum. Of money, yeah. And yeah. I don't, even What's, if he keeps doing well this year, I don't know if they're going to get that much more than that. They they don't have a say in it. It's a buyout clause. Oh, uh, yeah. so r- rumor is that they're, they're actually sure. prepared to overpay the clause. At, like, let's say they want to pay 70, but instead of paying it in lump sum, they're paid over three years. Like, so they're, they're kind of getting to those weeds, right? So he's yeah. going, he's going to go to somebody and it doesn't mean that he's going to go to Chelsea. It really doesn't, but it does mean he is, Basically, if nobody else comes in, he is going to go to Chelsea because he's had yeah. a medical. He's agreed to personal terms. Somebody else could come in and offer more or he could change his mind. That's still an option. Right. But I'm still like for this kid, uh, why Chelsea? And and maybe it's it's, you know, taking it for granted. But fuck, the laundry list of failed strikers at Chelsea would put <laughs> me off if I was this kid. Yeah, the, yeah, and then there's like a list of like a short list, but like of the Diego Costas and the Didier Drogba's who went on to like Elka. In, in Elka, Di- Nicholas and Elka, who went no, on Diego to like things. Diego Costa is the only one since Didier Drogba that actually was a legitimate striker. And no, I know. even, and his, fair, even saying, his story yeah. ended with him yeah, going fucking crazy. Like he did well. They scored. They won a title, whatever. They, they, they've done stuff with strikers. Yeah, but his show. story <laughs> ended with him going fucking bonkers. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. We didn't, we didn't talk it, about him when we talked about Wolves a little bit. That'll be. Oh, yeah. Did oh, you see wild. him on the sidelines crushing a Red Bull? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He gets <laughs> on. I was just like, it's good to have him back. You know, it's good to have him he back. He looks so much older. And I didn't know if that was possible because he honestly looked like he was 50 he when he joined like the EPL. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, if you were thawed out of ice with a woolly mouth, <laughs> you would also. He does not so great, ball. JP. Okay. It be a little forgetting. It. Anyways, uh, so this is the this is the w- weekend fixtures. Um, Let's do it. You know, Let's just, go through it. Let me call it out what it is. Oh, we're not looking at the uh, pre weeks. Lester are going to beat up Bournemouth. No. I think I think we know that. Come on, we know that. Lester uh, are going to go on a run. I'm going to call it right now. Just I saying. think it's a good show. Mm, just I don't agree. I don't Chelsea think so. they fresh from corner. their win of AC Milan today. Uh, are going to take on Wolves, who have no real manager. So I think and no hope. That's a good. That's a good matchup for Chelsea to take advantage of the Wolves, even though Wolves are defensively yeah, they're going to smash, smash them up. They're going to smash them up. Um, I don't think Chelsea are going to have uh, Wesley Fofana for anybody out there who has fantasy football. He left today's game in a crutch or on crutches. Oh, really? Uh, sure. Possibly his knee after oh, scoring Oh, damn, poor goal. Chelsea. <laughs> oh, no. They go buy uh, another $75,000. Oh, it's such a shame. $75 million. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Um, oh, er- so Erling Holland's going to score 15 goals against Southampton. Um, captain him. Be- triple captain. See, honestly, Paul, that seriously, because Southampton love a 9-1, right? They, they're like, they're fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That, with my luck, they've done it a couple of times, right? With my like, luck, yeah, yeah. I would triple captain him, and he get one goal, but I he had seven assists. I've been just captaining Holland. I've got my best yeah, point, point total since week. I started. It's great, yeah. Um, and he's winning because of it. He just parks the captaincy on that one player, and he just sits back. It's one hundred percent. That's it. This is it's, this is yeah. the scenario, though. 
with uh, with Man City over South uh, Southampton are playing good football, and we know where Man City are, and they're just getting started. Man City started yep. slow, and they're a point behind uh, Arsenal, who are up top. It's it's going to get stupid, uh, and this is going to be like arguably the beginning. I mean, I say the beginning, but it's already started. But beginning of the end. Just, we're going to yeah. watch it and be like, fuck. Uh, and, 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 and every week and it's just gonna be every week, every week. word of warning uh of anybody who actually <sighs> thinks that they should triple captain early holland the day you do pep guardiola will put him on the bench put him on the bench <laughs> yeah if you if you have if ever had a man city player in your squad in ffp uh yeah try to yep. yeah try especially to if there's well, champions they're right champions league don't do it um right now true I Newcastle, like that, i'm going for it right <laughs> Newcastle uh, will be hosting Ivan Tony and Brentford. Ivan Tony returning to his club that he started at, um, kind of started at, you can say, but uh, de- they were definitely one of his clubs on his journey. Um, Newcastle looking pretty good. Uh, not Newcastle have been, it's a weird one with Newcastle, Great. right? Because there, there were the expectations were high, Paul, and it was sort of a, uh, you know, we're all like, oh, they got money now. We're going to see all these things happen. They started well. Their man, their man, the manager sort of got what it was like the style that they were going to play. And then they just keep getting draws. They can't, can't, can't get over the line on the, the you know, the, the, they'll yep. go one nil up, two one up, or whatever, and they'll kind of let other teams back into it. I think they're struggling with that. I mean, in this game, and I don't want to spend too much time on it, but I feel like, I feel like Brentford, Brentford, like this is like got like a three three on it. You know, it's got it's gonna be a well, lot I of hope so. Give me I a lot of gold in this one. game. I think both teams have a, a, a ability to score against each other based on the yep. style. I think this would be one of the funner games, uh, more fun games in the. In, in, I, I, I legitimately hope you're right, but I'm it's a one nothing Newcastle I, for me. No, is it, I, it, I think it's like yeah. a two two zero Newcastle. I, don't know, man. I think Tony's gonna get Tony's gonna get in the, in the conversation. Yeah. Uh although Brighton will. hosting Tottenham, Brighton off a three three thriller against I'm Liverpool. I'm nervous about this one. What is going on with Brighton? They look like they have not missed the beat. Like somebody else must have been coaching them other than Potter because they're just like, oh yeah, whatever. Our coach left, we don't care. When when well, you have a club that's so aligned like that, like everybody knows their job and they have such and a decision style, making in just... the management appointment as well. And I think right. this is the key thing, JP. The management has come in. I forget his name now. I apologize for it, but he um he is very much a Potter, like a Spanish. Yeah. Player. Like his style is exactly the same. He he's he's progressive. He wants to keep the ball to uh, the ball to players' feet. He wants to he wants to um. Keep the balls. <laughs> he want. He he, 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 he he. It's just the same type of football. So it wasn't a hard. It wasn't a hard. <laughs> it wasn't a hard decision. It wasn't a hard switch. I, it wasn't a hard I, balls. There was something in that description that I loved the most, where it's just like it's it's not like oh he's an English pep. It's like no, he's a Spanish <laughs> potter. He, this guy's a Spanish popper. <laughs> <Spanish butter. laughs> just like yeah. yeah, I just thought my whole life, my whole line there was quality, it. guys. I mean, come no, on, get that's it. Content, we get it. Um, well, do we have any like worry about the? Subscribe if you think that was good. Content. Like the channel. <laughs> yeah, great, con- great content. Like the content. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, like it, like it, like it. Uh, do we have any concerns right now about the way Spurs have been playing, Brian? Yes, yes. I, I, I'm very concerned. Uh, there's been a massive sort of like, and of course, this is the nature of, of as we spoke about social media and Twitter, the, I, the everybody wants to see a certain players play. Like we brought in Jed Spence in the right wing back position. Um, Royale just got a red card in the last game. We, we know he's missing three games. We have Doherty or Spence. Who are you going to play? If he plays Doherty, I'm going to be really upset. Um, we've been begging for him to play three in the midfield, especially against Arsenal. Apparently, Basuma might have had a, a, a slight knock, and that's the reason why he didn't do it. But a three, a three-five-two with the with the team we have, we saw it against Leicester. Sonny comes off the bench, we score four goals in a half an hour in a three-five-two. We're all looking at it going, "What are you doing, dude?" And he goes against. Uh, we went and played um, Frankfurt uh, yesterday and played a played a three-four-three three again. It was just kind of like, really, why? Same exact same starting eleven against Arsenal uh when we're supposed to be we're supposed to be rotating the squad right. so there's a lot of concern it's maybe it maybe we we're, we're being ridiculous because we're desperate which is mm. likely we did. we're desperate for for something that we're like we can't even trust conte who you know as we all know is a winner and is one everywhere he goes and it, it, it's a frustrating situation though when we're premier league I mean, you man guys, you guys can tell me this spurs are not don't look good no. like compared to how we finished the season it's hard no. to watch yeah. Even though we've created, other than like man, this was about a week ago, we had created more chances than any other team other than Man City. Had more shots on goal than Man City. All these statistics, but when you watch the football, the eye test, 
it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look like they're comfortable. It doesn't look like they're playing with the level they should sure. be playing at. And I think most Spurs fans feel that way, and that's the concern. Um, so, yeah, that's sort of – I think that's – I, I can say that all the Spurs games I've seen this season, I thought you guys haven't been really up to it, like to a certain level that I – like I moments, think there's, there's like a the players like you have in pieces and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. There's there's moments where I'm just like, whoa, yeah, if it's it not can... like a full performance. But I also really struggle with like what the missing pieces. Some player, like you can watch certain teams and be like, you know what, this team with a midfield player would be dangerous. But you yeah. guys don't have an obvious like genesis of why you're not playing up to that level. Like I can't. Pin I think we do, but but that's me on it. That's me being pompous about the situation. And again, it is it is the structure. He went Conte won Serie A last season in playing a three five two with with uh, you know a really strong three in that midfield that could rotate between who was ever going to be in that you know in that six or in that eight and, and just rotating through. And all of them had enough quality to do it. And the and you had two goal scorers at the top of the pitch who could just put the ball away. Spurs have that right now. That exact. Especially with our injury, Kulishevsky's injury injured, and Richarlison's not on form. Play the three-five-two. Put Basuma in that with the with with uh, with with um, Bentoncourt and Hoybier, and own the game. And then and then you let your wingbacks get forward. But that one of the wingbacks is fucking useless. Can't put a cross ball uh, cross in. <laughs> Paris, Perisic is fantastic putting balls in, but he's shit at defense. So we're really unbalanced in the position that we need balance in in order to play either of the systems we're playing. So it comes off, come, it's come across as being disorganized and not, not up to snuff. Right. Okay. Well, we'll find out how it goes. <laughs> yes, we will. Yeah. I, I, I do think uh, we, we, we have not lost at home in the Premier League um, in games that we normally do. So I'm, I think I could see it. Like a one, I could see like a one. No, in, I'm specifically talking, talking about a way. Uh, I could see like a one, one draw against a, a very good Brighton side that I would be, sadly happy with that result hmm it's said i think a lot about where we are well moving on to uh crystal palace versus leeds in what i expect to be a weird i i i'm gonna say three three some sort of super dope game i'm gonna call it right I, now yeah i feel like this could be a fun one like just a good one to watch as a neutral yeah, it. I just. I've always said. I think Crystal Palace games are always the ones that have the most potential to be like crazy showcases of Premier League games. For some reason, they just. It's just. I just. I just love them. Some. I don't love them as a team. I just love sometimes their games can be very entertaining. Whereas West Ham versus Fulham, I fully expect to be. <laughs> that's me going. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Villa did play Leeds last weekend. And you I was remember? Pretty... Was it you, JP, who was convinced about West Ham? Was it you? I, I was pretty sure West Ham was David Moyes is the next the, Jesus. JP loves to call it all out on when we get something wrong. Yeah, JP, I mean the season's wrong, still buddy. going and West Ham's, getting it wrong. West Ham's coming good, but it's a little coming early. Good. They, they did not start day. well. They did not start well. But Leeds, oh, I was shocked at how poor I actually thought Leeds were against Villa. I thought Leeds, besides the red card, they were good in like their their holding after the red card, but even in the buildup, I thought like they were not that great with 11 men. They looked like Bielsa's leads. Everybody honestly. was everybody was completely shocked that appointing an American manager didn't work out for Leeds. <laughs> I, I actually I actually think he's done all right, but I, I think, think he's it, done okay, but all right. yeah. I think, that's why I said all right, no care, basically the same. I, I, I don't think I just think that um it's a very difficult job uh to yeah. come to a side like a big, big, big uh Premier League club that hasn't been in the Premier League and you're an American manager chucked into the, it, it, it is a bit, um, you know, it, it's a bit of a, and there's an expert and it, it, it's going to end in a, in a it end poorly, no matter what, because you're just, you can't really get past that situation. And you can't but overcome right, the personality. How good he might be as goes. a manager, right? He still could be like incredible, but they're just, you're just asking, asking for somebody to do something in a scenario where yep. the, the club, the people, the, the, the fans in particular are not going to trust this guy. Jesse March, as much as he shows the passion he does all his best version of, uh, of, of an American. Ted Lasso. Uh, Ted Lasso. He can, I'm trying to avoid saying it. Trying to avoid saying it. <laughs> his best version of an American manager he can do. He's still an American manager in, in, a, in a Premier League of, of European managers that are far, far above what, what he's capable of doing. And that costs a little bit with the way the leads play. Gentlemen, you got to be a goldfish. Arsenal hosting Liverpool in what will be the game of the season, I think. 
like straight up, I'm not even joking, not being hyperbolic. I think this is the form game where a team that is trying to be in the top form and a team that should be in the top four face off. And I think this is going to be a fucking hail. Like I, I, I really am. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm and I, I, and I think I Brian like and I I'm... are hoping for different results because I'm hoping Liverpool gets filled. <laughs> <laughs> He's hoping. Yeah, Arsenal. I feel like Arsenal will have them. I, I don't know. I just feel like they have their number. I don't think so. I think for me, this is this has got draw written all over it. I think both teams are going to go at it. I think it's going to be very <laughs> open. Very nil, nil. One, this terrible is, game. Yeah, one one. one 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 or nil nil. This is this is this is City Liverpool. It's just city. It's city light Liverpool. You're watching like structure wise, as far as the the, the tactics and, play, and shit like it's that. It's the same, right? Like he plays a really high line. He wants to control the ball and the opposition's teams' uh, a final third as much as possible. And Liverpool are gonna are gonna try to counter it and, and manage that situation and then create their own moments uh, when when City oh. give up the ball or City when Arsenal give up the ball because they're highly pressured. That's what that's what Arsenal Arsenal are doing. What City do. Um, and they're doing it arguably in a reasonably good way. So um, I think it has a, I think it's be a cracker. I think it'd be a very good game, a lot of goals. And, um, and I think both teams are going to, you know, show the best versions of themselves to some extent currently, because it, it's going to matter a lot for both of them when it comes to the, the sort of end result, right? I want to watch you, this a lot of game. Um, by the way, Brian, I found a new English pub on Ossington. That's quite nice for oh, watching yeah. some football do they have yeah. uh do they have a uh, a club of choice or is it more of an open scenario it's maybe a newcastle bar but well that's okay mm. we can still they can got really good over. chips they got really good chips chips um, okay. and pie <laughs> and pie is that on, um, is that on the northwest corner of like uh just south of uh of uh dundas there's a pub there mm, yes yeah like all black pub. very black on the outside yeah. Good spot. Yeah. Um, I liked it. Went today. Got some Good. chips and curry. It's delicious. Everton host um my club, Man United. Uh Everton have two wins after a series of draws to start the Tons of draws. Five in a row, I think it was. Yeah, craziness. Uh against Man United, who I think are going to have to rebound. They have to rebound. Um, but I'm I mean, we haven't really talked about it too much, but my first question thinking... for you, Paul, if you don't mind, uh, do yeah. you take that result in against City? And I think you should, because I think any team that plays City should take that result in isolation. It isn't something that should be considered about the rest of your form and the rest of the games you're going to play. It hurts, of course, losing against a rival yeah. against a you know a team that got, rival. You got to be a goldfish, good. Brian. You got to be a goldfish. Yeah, right. Exactly right. I think that I don't think that it's going to affect. United and and the progression that you've seen under Ten Hag, I think that no, I, that game you can push it out, out. You can push it outside of that. Eric Ten Hag said uh, some stuff that I love today, where he was just like, you know, we got taught a lesson, and we're going to learn that lesson. And thank you, Pep Guardiola and Man City, for teaching us that lesson. What did you like, think of the lack of Ronaldo play? Was that a was that a problem for you? What has he done to deserve to play? Well, I mean, he hasn't played, so how does he how does he earn it? Wait. You, you want to you want to <laughs> shop yourself around all summer to go to a different club and miss all preseason. That's fair. That's fair. No, that's uh, then, that's one hundred percent fair. I just was curious more more curious more than anything that um, it's a big game, right? It's a it's a game where you want the biggest best players you could have on the pitch. Uh, yeah. No, uh, well, Darby, uh, no, no, Mint, no, no, Darby, no, blah blah blah. Right? Only with like when you say the biggest. I mean, what does that mean? Like you want the best chance to win against them, and I don't think I Ronaldo, agree. I just think sometimes that... right now against that team is what you need. I think uh, trying to catch them on the counter with speed is it's the is, right decision, Paul. I agree like, with you. I just I it, the, the questions and it also we as we spoke about earlier, the English media sort of made a big massive yes, deal yes. about it, right? And so that's why I brought it up. I was like, what what do you yeah. think about it? I agree with you. I think. I, I think I think as a manager, he's made good decisions. No there. Not not bad. No, decisions. I had no problems. I I mean, again, it's an isolation event. To answer your question before, like totally isolated yeah. event, I can look at it and go, yeah, we were, we took a month away from Premier League soccer, one month, football, and our, our well, we hadn't played a Europa League game, um, but it was one month of uh, <laughs> a Premier League that. football, and <laughs> and then our first game back was against Manchester City at home. When they were flying, yeah, and you like, had the same issue we had. <laughs> it's like, like, what are we doing? Just, here? This is I, so I weird. Had, I didn't learn that much 
there's some things where I'm like, well, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's time to realize that Christian Erickson against lesser teams is great, but against a team with a midfield where you're going to be running around all game. Yeah. It ain't going to work. You're not getting, that's, you're not getting out of him what you He's going to have a heart yeah. attack. Yeah. 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 He, he's, well, well, not, but, that's terrible. Yeah. But also <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to be able to do is run and, and, chase him because totally. he's old. and, and I think and, we're all and very, has, has a defibrillator built into his heart. <laughs> I, I, I do hope most Man United fans do know that like, we're not, Cold. Just because you because you beat Arsenal because you live beat Liverpool and we all like Eric Ten Hag, it doesn't mean like we're there yet. Like we're yeah, gonna long way to go, long way to go. Yeah. We're gonna get smashed. We're probably gonna get smashed by fucking Southampton one day this season, and it's okay because it's this is a, part this of the is process, a, buddy. Part this of the is process. a process, this is a learning season, and so. growth season. Yeah. yeah, but having said all that, I do think what has to happen and what I want to see happen is yeah, you got smashed six to three. I want to see a reaction against Everton. Everton should be a team that you can go with. I see another draw stadium. here, man. I do. I, see react to it. I, I think got like two two. I see goals from both teams. No, uh, well, I mean, I maybe I would put money. Maybe two I would put money on Man United. That's me right now. But yeah, um, maybe two one. Yeah, Man like if, 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 if a team's going to win, it's going to be Man U. But I do think there's a, there's goals in this game, and I could see I could see a draw. I put money on Man U, but it's more a statement of how much I don't think Everton are good right now than it is. No, else. yeah. Yeah, that's a fair point. That's that's just like I just don't. I I watch Everton yeah. games. I'm just like, what the fuck is this team? Um, but then I go to Nottingham Forest, who I think are um, on the verge. I don't, I don't know Back if Aston Villa. Manager. If Aston Villa don't, I, I I don't think it's fair that every game where two struggling managers face each other, where it's the this is for your job game. El Sacchio. El Sacchio. Yeah. El Sacchio. But this is a great example of... Why we got content if, first. If Aston Villa can't it's, beat Nottingham Forest right now, then surely the god Steven Gerrard is on the, on the hook. And the I next, think Nottingham Forest are on the hook no matter what. Yeah. The, the next draw, video the I draw, do... Does like the draw play. get them both past it? No. Fuck no. Villa, need, Villa, okay. Villa are eight points out of eight. I games. don't mean for you, JP. I mean he for, needs the, for the club. Do the do is he draws against this in this game? Does he get sacked or he should? Yeah, no. But do you think it'll happen? Like what? I, what, is, what is the club? I don't, like I don't think so. This is this is how I see it actually going. I see our CEO getting sacked before him because Ooh. I don't believe our CEO will sta- sack Steven Gerrard because oh, wow. they're liver. So who's buddies. sacking the CEO? Who's in charge? The owners. The, the, the yeah. owners, the owners would sack him and, and replace him or put somebody else. Sorry, my owner is also the CEO, so I'm not used to that sort of separation. Of yeah, the our players. our CEO yeah. owns like five percent of the club, but he can still be sacked from within the club. And right. so I think our owners would sack the CEO. I think Levy owners. owns like thirty percent of the club, so we don't have. Yeah, that. so, you're screwed. <laughs> so I, I, this this yeah. El Sacco is actually bigger as a Sacco than we thought. El yeah, Sacchio. it would be a double Sacchio for Villa. Um, Sacchio, guys. Sacchio. <laughs> we're trying to figure Sacchio. this out. I think I think this guys has to be, with, the, with the pronunciation. This has to be a Villa win in my head in the book. I don't care. Like we we go into the first game of the season and we lose to Bournemouth and they're not anything special. Now we're going to the 20th place team who's a worse in the form guide. If we lose to them, he needs to go. Like that's just poor you need form. To go. You yeah, yeah his, his uh his win rate is like the lowest in in, it's, in it's, history. In history, it's pretty sure. low. It's like thirty five percent. A question for you, JP, and I want I want I'm really like I'm trying to understand the the reason why Villa are so bad, um, because this is the team as you know, and you know this is the team you know really well as far as the, the personnel are concerned. Slightly it's not well. bad. It's not great. Um, there's you could have done better in the window, right? Like you could have brought in bigger, better players for better sure. positions. But based on what you have uh, with the manager, like the pedigree of Gerard. And I mean that in like sort of jokingly, but at the same time, recognizing that he did well in Scotland. He's, he's done really well in his career as a player. Does that translate in the scenario? I, I, if, the, the problem is the struggle. Like what's he getting wrong? Like what, what, what just, is going wrong here? Like what I, is he doing wrong? I don't know what's going wrong. I honestly think it's what they do at the practice ground. I don't know what they do. And I can clearly see after two weeks, identity, we watch right? a game. Yeah, we watched a game and we said, what did they do over the two weeks? What There's no practicing? system of play. There's no patterns that we recognize. What's your stroke? What's your, str- what's your str- like what's what's your system? Is it a three it's, five two? It's three, always, four. it's almost always a four three three, but it's either a tight double ten three up top or it's a wide double three. And we we for a little bit had fun with like a four four two diamond, 
but he there's just nothing there's where's he no getting this team. idea these ideas from liverpool didn't play that way when he played there like that he, he... most of it last season came from his assistant coach michael beal who left in the summer for qpr now qpr is the number one away team in the championship and they're doing okay he brought in someone new and i don't think it's working um, I also don't think Steven Gerrard is a great in-game manager because his subs are just really poor. T- honestly. Tactically, a little, a little bit. Uh, He's just—he just looks like a fresh manager who doesn't quite know how to get his team playing to a game plan. And after ten months, you should at least see game plans. And I don't see game plans. I don't see system of play it's and it's just, why you do it even if it's going wrong i think it's his coaching i do. honestly if he's if he's a good coach I, it has to be his coaching staff but i don't know if he's that great of a coach nottingham forest three aston villa one god <laughs> damn i'm going with another two i can see I'm, it like, i'm like two, i'm like two two across the board all week we've scored hold on i'm gonna Every let you retract that three. brian we've <laughs> scored six goals all season so why don't you rethink that two two that's rough. Yeah, you know what? Uh, nil nil. Well, not even <laughs> like, for us. Like goals ship in. My mom gets yeah, scored. Going for nil nil on that one. We've scored. Yeah, six. It's gonna be like a one nil. Villa, Villa one nil. That's my actual prediction. I think so, you guys will get a goal. Cool. It'll be a shit goal, but it'll be enough to get you over the line. Gerard what? will stay with you for the season. You'll be miserable. We get to enjoy so your movie. Fucking miserable. worth mentioning, I think, because I enjoy this myself. It is Canadian Thanksgiving <laughs> this weekend. So it's what, Paul? Sorry, it's Canadian, Canadian Thanksgiving. What, oh, yeah. what is that? What it, me, it means we give thanks and we have a holiday. So Our Thanksgiving can, is not on the same weekend as yours, JP. I, well, I wait, can drink. Did you guys not massacre your Native Americans like we did? We did it on a different day. It's a different day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just making sure. I feel so bad if there's any Native American listening to this. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Bad. Well, you should feel bad. We're, no a woke, we're a woke podcast, people. Just don't get too upset about it. Please, I'm sorry. Which means I get to drink on Sunday for all of the games. Oh, and that's it's socially acceptable. I'm Why happy for you, on Sunday? It's really exciting. It's very exciting. Uh, gentlemen, uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you guys. It's been a it while. It really has, know. you know. That was Sorry, a solid run hour of, of enjoyment I just had. <laughs> oh, it was so long, man. It was a solid hour. It was a long hour. hour. I was like... I was like getting myself ready for this. I was like, oh shit, we're still talking about the Premier League because I hadn't talked about it for so long. And I was like, I was cut. My interest was just so I, how bad. Am I going to be? I, I literally this? thought both of you guys were just like, all right, we're kind of done with this channel. We're tired. We don't want to do this anymore. I was like, where is? Do you know how often we've done that <laughs> <laughs> every summer? We just never. No, it's just a weird year, man. It's a weird year. It's post pandemic. Fuck it's World, Cup, World Cup in the middle of the freaking season. Fuck it's like, how many games hey. do I have to play? Hey. Like, Ryan, is any of Ryan. this analysis that I'm talking about real, Ryan. or is it Ryan. just nonsense? Ryan, let Paul do it for Dave. Do it. For you know Dave. what it is for Dave, Connie. We love you, buddy. Uh, glad you're safe. Miss you, Connie. Keep that heartbeat going, buddy. Keep that heartbeat going. We need oh. you. We miss you. Yeah, yeah. If you guys don't know, um, Dave's a guy named Dave. That's all I get. Mr. Convery. Yeah. Our boy. Uh, he's part him. cyborg now. Um, you'll see him soon enough. <laughs> He'll be he's back. Fine. He's fine. Half of him will be back. Christ. His heart won't be back because his heart isn't in it. But he'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, uh, he's pulling, he's pulling the wires solid. as he's listening to that this. He's solid. like, no, I'm done. Solid. Yeah. Sometimes. Perfect. Yeah. Good times, yeah. guys. Peace Follow out, us. Like and subscribe. Give us smash a like. it, smash it. Give us a comment. Tell us we're idiots or immature or you know asses. That's what we do. Yeah. Write us to tell us what what is wrong with the United States of America. Tell, tell us to grow up. Tell Brian how to fix his back. I'm working on it. Fucking hell, it's terrible. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a sloth. <laughs> with that. Love you. Peace. Bye.